Conte is preparing to tell Parliament his plans for the 209 billion euros of EU coronavirus recovery fund. The sum was agreed by member states in July. But before Rome is handed the sum, Brussels has asked to know how Italy will spend the money. Well, let's find out more. We can head to Rome to speak to our correspondent, Georgia Orlandi. Georgia, morning to you. So every euro has got to be accounted for. As Giuseppe Conte lays out his plans, what does he want to do with the money and how does he think that's going to help bolster the Italian economy? Good morning, Rosie. Well, yes, Prime Minister Conte said on a number of occasions that this is a great opportunity to build a better Italy and that he does not want to waste a single euro here. And also uh, several political figures, but also experts seem to agree with that. They see this really as perhaps the last chance to relaunch the country's economy, a chance not to be missed really to redesign its future, given the fact that the country's economy has been one of the worst hit by the pandemic. That's why the country is getting the largest share of the entire uh, recovery uh, fund. Uh, um, we know that uh, a task force has been working alongside the government to come out with a plan, a plan that will be sent to Brussels tomorrow as draft proposal, uh, a plan that has been reviewed by two parliamentary committees and uh, Brussels will have to review that. The deadline to submit the final plan is January 2021. Speaking in the Senate, not only not to forget the victims but also to provide a more opportunities uh, for the generations to come, Rosie. Georgia, part of the reason that Italy's got such a large share, 209 billion euros worth of the recovery fund, is because of how hard Italy was hit, at least initially, by the pandemic. New restrictions came into force yesterday. What is the status of the infection across the country now? Well, Rosie, yesterday the country reported uh, nearly 6,000 new cases in 24 hours. As we know, there has been an, an increase in the number of new infections lately. That's why government officials and health officials are said to be deeply concerned by the recent growth. And that's why after actually extending the state of emergency until the end of January 2021 last week and making the use of face masks mandatory, both outdoors and indoors, now the government has introduced a new set of rules to mainly contain the spread of the virus, to contain a second wave of infections. Bars and restaurants will have to close at midnight. People won't be allowed to stand outside um, after 9 p.m. But also the decree introduces a ban on private parties in bars and nightclubs. Group gatherings uh, at home also will be allowed to a maximum of six people. And that's because health officials are saying that infections, 70% of infections actually spread mainly among family members and friends. Rosie. Georgia Orlandi, thank you very much. Our correspondent there in Rome. Still to come here, Brexit, COVID-19, the migration crisis. EU